I wish this was hot chocolate. Hey you, let's get you feeling warm and looking hot this winter. First up, we have an item that I've never included in any of my previous winter outerwear videos, and that is a duffel coat. This bad boy is like an overcoat, but with some old school toggle buttons and a cozy hood that's great for protecting your head from the rain and the cold. So when it comes to the winter months, there's a good chance that layering multiple sweaters under a lighter jacket just isn't going to cut it. And you'll always want to go for insulated outerwear that effectively protects you from the colder temperatures. That said, many guys think that this means they have to invest in a big ski jacket that makes them look like a walking four-man tent. Mm. The duffel coat, however, is traditionally made from wool, meaning that it keeps you warmer than a flock of sheep while providing you with a stylish look that is not too dressy, but not too casual. It's time to talk about pea coats. Looking like the double-breasted love child of an overcoat and a sports coat, the pea coat is a classic that looks great on guys of all body types. It is both refined yet manly, and the sharp double-breasted design insulates your body without making you look too bulky in all the wrong places. Also, it has the sheer power to instantly dress up your more casual outfits, and I love pairing it with a dark wash jean or navy chino and a pair of lace-up boots. Next up, we have the item that belongs on every list of men's winter jackets, the overcoat. So not to be confused with a trench coat, this stylish wool coat has a longer fit than the pea coat, but with a look that's just as sophisticated. Timeless and versatile, the overcoat not only works with dressier items, but also with more relaxed ones too. Honestly, if you get the colors right, you can pretty much throw this bad boy over just about anything including casual outfits and athleisure looks too. So unlike pea coats, overcoats are designed to have a more relaxed fit, which allows more room for whatever you've got on underneath. And this makes it the perfect outerwear option for throwing it on over a suit. Also, unlike your pea coat, your overcoat should always be single breasted so that it can be worn both buttoned and unbuttoned and still look good. So puffers are usually filled with down or synthetic option and are designed to be both lightweight and warm. So they work great in both city and countryside environments and are the perfect balance, I would say, for staying warm and looking stylish. Now, I know what you're thinking, but trust me, if you listen carefully, you may just be able to pull this jacket off without resembling a marshmallow balanced on a pair of toothpicks. So due to its design, the puffer is definitely the trickiest item on this list to pull off. And if you decide to go too shiny or colorful, then you really run the risk of looking like a poisonous blowfish. Now, the trick is to go for a more toned down color, like gray, navy, or some, just something dark, in order to keep it looking as sharp as possible without it distracting from the rest of your outfit. Also, speaking of pulling off, you always wanna make sure that your outfit underneath works as soon as you take the jacket off, which is what you should always be doing as soon as you get indoors. Parkas are designed for both functionality and warmth, and as a result, they're not traditionally considered to be super stylish. However, if you live in a cold area, then, and I, I mean, I really hate to say this, utility overrules style. The chillier your environment, the longer your parka should be if you really wanna get the most out of that functional insulation. Now, the body should lightly hug your shoulders and torso, but don't go too loose or too tight. And remember that you're probably gonna be wearing your parka over a sweater and maybe a heavier flannel shirt, so it's best to wear one of these while trying your parka on in the store. Also, you should always be able to zip it all the way to the top, even with something bulky on underneath. Next, we have something a bit different. So this is a jacket by a brand called Parajumper. So I'm just gonna call it a Parajumper. And before you ask, no, it will not enable you to glide like Batman. Okay, so there are so many things I love about this particular jacket. First of all, it comes in a number of different lengths and has a distinctively utilitarian design that allows them to withstand even the most extreme of weather conditions. Basically, you get the warmth of a puffer without the, well, puffiness. I love how it has pockets that are somewhat large and spacious, but also super discreet. So this means that you can carry your phone, wallet, iPad, car keys, and your pet chihuahua all hidden away without any bulges. Color-wise, I'd go for the classic black, navy, olive green, as these shades will have the most flexibility when pairing with outfits 